Hello everyone and thank you guys so much for tuning into our channel. Let me first start by saying that this is not the initial video that we were going to upload to the channel. However, we've been receiving so much feedback from you guys asking us how to get unstuck out of certain situations that you're in in life. A lot of you guys are saying that you've been making realistic goals or goals that you think have been realistic and making a plan on how to get there, but you're still on this spiral and you're just going around and around and around in circles and you're asking us how to get out of that place that you're stuck in. Now, my initial response to most of you was that you guys are not reading our blog because if you were, you would have saw the blog entitled Living Outside of Their Comfort Zone. This blog discusses this and I give you four very simple tips on how to break free from that and get off of this spiral and move forward with your life. So let's start by discussing what those four tips are. And that first tip seems to be the most difficult for everyone. And that is, guys, you have to eliminate your haters. You have to dismiss these people out of your lives and you have to let these people go. And we all have haters in our lives. You know those people who are just there breathing your air and taking up valuable space in your life, those people who, when you call on them, they're never around. But when they need you, you always have their back, no matter what. These people are your naysayers and always telling you why you can't do something, why it won't work, and why you cannot make situations better for yourself. You have to let these people go. No apologies, no regrets. Let these people go and move on with your life. You will see how much better your life would be without these people around. That second step was you need to reconnect with your dreams. Whatever your dreams were that you've lost along the way, you need to sit down and think about what those dreams are and make sure that those dreams are realistic. Do not set yourself up to fail. If those dreams are not realistic, you need to move on to dreams that are realistic and to dreams that you know you can put a plan in place for and achieve those dreams in your life. Don't make no goals that you're going to be the next Beyonce. You are not going to be the next Beyonce. She does her job well. That's not for you. Do not make any goals that you're going to be the next Michelle Obama. You're not going to be the next Michelle Obama. She does her job well. That job is not for you. Make your goals centered around your life. Be the next you. You are the next big thing. So you make that happen. That third tip that I gave was you have to develop a roadmap. And what that roadmap starts with is you making a list of all of your roadblocks. You make those first three things on that list, your top three roadblocks, with number one being the most difficult. Number four, get to work. And what get to work means is you look at that list that you made in step number three, and that roadblock number one, you start doing what you have to do to break that roadblock down. You have to start there because if you do not start there, if you start with the most easiest things on that list, you're going to quickly lose motivation and you're not going to make anything happen. You're going to continue on that spiral. However, if you start with that most difficult roadblock, and when you achieve that and get that roadblock out of your way, you're going to be so motivated and you're going to be so proud of yourself because you're going to see that, hey, this is something that I did not think I could do. This is something I did not think I could achieve, but I did. So I did this. So these little small little things that I have listed here, I know I can achieve these. So let's do a quick recap. Dismiss those haters. Let those people go. Sorry, not sorry. Reconnect with your dreams, develop a roadmap, and get to work. If you need any assistance with any of these goals, or if you find yourself in a situation to where you are stuck while you're working through these things, 
All of my contact information is listed down below. So you can contact me via email, telephone call, on our social media accounts, or you can come by our office. All of the information is down below. We want you guys to follow us on all of our social media accounts. We want you guys to subscribe to this channel and also click that like bell. So when we do upload videos, you will see those videos and you will get to see what the Team Abuma is, what Team Abuma stands for, what we're about, how we go on with our daily lives. You will get to meet, um, our kids, family members, friends, and you will really get to see who we are and what we stand for. We want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this video, and we will see you on our next uploads. Thank hey guys, let's like to me. Don't forget to subscribe. And go to a Boomba website. If you can't find that, just go on different websites and type in a Boomba. And... I want to show you something. You will see all my songs with me and all this tea. You see? <laughs> and all this tea. But I love my family and uh, all I have to say for you guys. I love my haters and I see you when you start your rock. Because I'm so glad to see you guys because you are amazing. And I love my fans. But the, like, not fans, I don't really like them. And Turn up. So bye! Peace.